Good morning. We're back. Right at the end of last session. Fine, uh, France will win that war. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. England may try to seal some troops and land them, but we can deal with that, no problem. My thought was, well, I need this coastline, but... Savoy and this coastline and the Papal State are both allies with France. Isn't this a good idea to declare war on them now? Unfortunately, Savoy have honoured the call to arms and are on our side in this war. So we can't declare on them. The Papal State aren't. So I will be fabricating as quick as I can on the Papal State. And to that end, I'm actually going to move uh, I'm going to move a merchant Vienna was already applying power in that direction merchant do I move I'll move this guy really matter all I would need to do is oh excuse me sneezy times it is collect there and I also want you off hostile trading I'm going to put this guy over here on hostile trading so the fabrication speed on the Pope is a bit faster because it's at about 1.38 per month so it's uh, it would take us quite a while to get uh, to get the spy network we need. Ideally we would have claims on all of these um, but that would take too long. Uh, I don't know if I can fabricate bordering uh, don't think I can fabricate for Naples. So it's going to be a case of fabricate on Umbria. But don't actually take Umbria. Take one or more of these guys. But the main thing, main purpose of that war would be to break their alliance with France. They can keep it with Savoy. In fact, it benefits me if they keep the alliance with Savoy. But, uh, yeah, we that France alliance needs to go. I'm Well, it's not that I'm not ready to fight France. It's that I don't want to fight France yet. That being said, the uh, the run so far, not to jinx it, has been relatively smooth sailing. Say Aragon starts in a very powerful position. Uh, in the players' hands, when they get the Iberian wedding, it just gets more powerful. There by now. Hostile trading, that affects the people state, so yes. And our fabrication goes up a little. Whether it'll make a difference or not, I don't know, but I'll take everything I can get. What I would take is a nose that did not run as soon as I start playing. Take that. Gladly. As ever, if there are any questions, please do ask. I'll do my best to answer them. I was thinking about um, about knowledge in uh, Europa Universalis Four. It's been out for so long, and it's evolved so so much. Um, leads you to quite an interesting situation if you're someone like me who played it for a while. You know, back in the early days, got a few a few hours under your belt left it for quite a while and then came back to it. New players new to Europa are, as I've said before, can very I can very much sympathize with finding the whole thing overwhelming in terms of interface, in terms of what levers you have to, you know, enforce your will and so forth. Um there can be a lot of things 
you just don't know, you know, what's what's going to happen because you haven't encountered that situation before. Um, oh, oh, hello. Feel, oh, you'll win that. Um, conversely, when you've uh, <laughs> when you've played it for a while, you can get into a situation where you think you know what's going to happen, but you don't. Your knowledge is either out of date, like, for example, um, Nosh pointed out last time that... Um, Personal union liberty desire, <clears throat> excuse me, personal union liberty desire is calculated individually uh, for the relative power scoring. So Castile has a relative power of 56% to me, whereas um, Naples has only a 25% relative power. If they were vassals, they that would uh, be cumulative relative power of vassals to their overlord. Uh, instead of relative power of that minor to the overlord. Um, so that's that's a case where my own past knowledge, or, yeah, my own past knowledge has tripped me up, or my own, yeah, my own perception of the game has tripped me up. But that's fine. I mean, I this is why I love playing this game, is you still, you still learn, and you can still learn relatively basic things um, by playing it. I got the speed one. Speed one is for losers. Brittany. Leave Castile alone. Yeah. Rip. And Brabant's involved. Okay. So really... We want Franz to win this war, but we don't want them to win it, win it that fast because we don't want Franz piecing out and then joining in the war as a defender when I declare on the Pope. And actually, should get my troops into position here. These are my transport boats. Also, captured you. You should be protecting trade. Andrea, we need to get ourselves into a position where we're the strongest trade power in Alexandria. We do. Diplomat sent, of course. Rocco claiming me. Don't care. Alright, Mamlux, you're off the hook for the moment. I need to I need diplomats here. Yeah, tissue. Ugh. There we go. Right. Actually fabricated a little bit quicker than I was expecting. Yeah, none of these are fabricatable. So we'll just fabricate on you. Oh, I'll let you build that farm estate though. So that gives us conquest on the Pope. Fine. No, no. Bring the navy over here. Now, if I was to declare war on you, France obviously, France and Savoy would not join in, but Venice would. Interesting. Venice are looking pretty alright at the moment. What's their situation? Oh. A disastrously good. They like ships, though. One heavy in an inland sea is. Yeah. That could be problematic. What's their army looking like? Just. Uh. Ignore the seas, potentially. Thousand, huh? Maple State is probably around ten to twelve thousand. Yeah, eleven thousand. Right on the money. Okay. I think this tells me I need more boat. Please install boat.exe. There. Uh, 
in that case, you also need to be on go home at war. You need to not go straight there until we make sure we're make sure of the uh, boat situation. Now the thing is, if the um, Neapolitan and Castilian navies were to attach to me, well, what remains of the Castilian navy, that would be a different matter. Particularly as Naples, well, they only have one galley. Oh well. Well, we need to get our uh, we need to get our other uh, army over there first of all, and then we can declare. So what I don't want is getting my boat sniped on the way over. Ooh. Day that ticks by is a day that France t ticks closer to winning and peacing out against England. That I don't want. Oh, sorry. Ah, you've got go home at war. That's why you're not actually doing anything. Good one for losers. Their idea. Not as yet. Well, I think we are ahead. Did we not tech up in mill last time? Yeah, we're quite far ahead, so we could take that easily enough. If it looks like one of my forts is going to be besieged, then I will take that idea. Okay. Mamluks have rivaled me. That's a good point. Let's check rivals before we play our war here. Oh, right, yeah, we're at war, of course. Oh, right. Let's uh, make it fast. Will either work or horribly backfire. Another general, we do not. Pull up another general. Cannot. I think I do want another general in this situation. Give me something good. Now you're already paying for your fort, so that's fine. For Venice to join in, and the boat situation. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of galleys. A lot of, a lot of galleys. That's a lot of Pope. With four fire, five shock. Oh my goodness. Pope, where do you get off getting a general like that? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, impressed and kind of scared at the same time. Like, it's... Uh, it's <laughs> Problematic. Both on tech nine. I have the I have a reasonable reasonable composition. I have a better army. Back up. If not easily though. Oh well, we'll see what happens. They don't have full morale either. But I will well, I might get the crossing penalty here. I've got the extra discipline as well. Yeah, what was I even worried about? Well, I was worried about that five shock with good reason, but uh, fortunately, fortunately, catch them. Yes, we can. Goodbye, papal army. Good, good, good. You just go and siege, please. That leaves us in a situation where the only army is the Venetian one of 15,000. Got to drop off a troop in Umbria. 
please give troop. You have the three siege, which is glorious. Getting to Venice may prove tricky. These, uh, these occupations push the war score up if we can care about Kazan doing whatever they're going to do Navarra oh I've got access here I go Castile, Castile what your excuse buddy boy get going get, just get in there we'll never We'll never be able to get to uh, Venetia itself, at least not with the uh, sheer swarm of galleys facing us, unless they've really split up their fleets and... Wow, okay. You're baiting me here, Pope. You are baiting me out. You, this is such a trap. Oh well. galleys versus my 14 galleys. Who is coming here? Hope. Yeah, alright then. Alright. Oh, this is such a bad idea. Venice are going to come and back them up. Jeez, yeah. No kidding. Get home. Worst row. like the way that French war score is ticking up here. I can get there. Oh, that's nice. Oh, well, hello, Venetian army. Yeah. I don't know if you can hear, but there's a lot of uh, gardening work going on elsewhere. I daren't close my window because we've just had the uh, hottest day of the year yesterday and I don't really want to repeat the heat today. Uh, Castile, where are you going, buddy? I want you here. Right, let's try this a different way. this unit please watch this one uh, okie dokie yeah that makes sense I mean, it does because we don't have access through we do have access through Austria but we don't have access through the other stuff that's fine yes a trip to the neighbouring province via northern Germany I'm on board Deal, please, please go siege, because this ain't gonna tick. I mean, that's quite deliberate on my part, but. The yeah, eyes reasonable. Oh, jeez. Right, yes, of course, we took a lot of land last time, didn't we? Where are you going? Are you going to Milan? I see. Stay there. Hold these hills. Oh, hello, Venice. Where exactly is that cross sword? It's under the Alps. Yeah, the AI is reasonably good about avoiding attrition nowadays. Uh, and it, if it thinks you've got a siege in hand, it won't. Uh, it seems to not want to jump on sometimes, which is reasonably clever. Right, Pope. How badly are people going to hate me for taking land? I don't have claims on. Pretty, actually, pretty not bad. Pretty not bad at all. I think I will have to close my window. Just give me a sec here. Oh, 
Okay. Looks a little bit quiet. There we go. I should have automatic ducking on anyway. That looks a bit loud now. Design these audio controls. Was it the same people that design temperature controls and showers? Oh, okay, there you go. Oh, hello, England. Army of Scotland, you say? Fine by me. Pushes down the war score. Monetary reforms. Oh. I already have a Master of the Mint, don't I? I mean, I really can't complain with the money I'm making. It would just be churlish. Ah, right. So the Pope now says... Pope now says, fair enough. But the other thing I want to do, and I cannot forget, is annul treaties with France. You cannot keep Big Brother France. Keep your non-coastal land. That's fine. France? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Uh, other news, let's um, get that three siege guy on the case here. Got no siege. Siege guy, lead this cannon, this mighty cannon up to Treviso. Interesting. Venice wants to... Now, Avignon, what is your terrain? Ah, oh, crass. Figures. That's what I thought, Venice. Oh, okay, no, that's fine. That's just Brittany. They pieced out. And we've got enough war score to prevent them joining this war, I think. This is one of those situations where it used to be, if you had enough war score, the uh, AI had a minus 1000 modifier to joining the call to arms, but I'm uh, not so sure about this anymore. Keeps away madly in another room. I could once this fort eventually falls be in a much better much better place for getting Venice out. Mantua getting their papal hat on. France what France does and killing the English. Yeah, okay. Can I snipe you? Do I dare snipe you? I dare. I think I dare. Keep an eye on these guys. Saw me coming and ran away. Goodbye. Oh, we're locked in now anyway, but I see where those Venetian boats went. So they're probably either in Otranto or Taranto. Costly. You'd be costly. 
my eye on the retreat button. Yeah. Yeah. You either need to win very quickly or beat. Yeah. Sharing is indeed caring. Murderize them and then a retreat. Lovely. That was good. really want to see uh, blockade me here in the Gulf of Gabes. I can respect that. Respect it because it helps me kill your navy. Uh, let's not have this transport here, please. Where are you going? Capabon. Okay, so you have an admiral and you have five galleys. In galleys that beats me you were to reinforce but you guys Let's see what happens here you like doing something while we're waiting for that fort to fall beggars you're staying there right you in the neighboring season so you can add back up to my firepower here. He's outbreak on the siege. Mostly not my men, so I mostly don't care. Right. Do this. They're not backing up. They're sending some of their boats around, I think. Lawless victory. And back to port, lads. Franz, you are making heavy work of this war. You are doing so well. Ah, there we go. Feel on you go, buddy. This guy. Close you to accepting peace here, Pope. Now you would take it. Which means I should ask for more. There's no sense in getting greedy, but there's also no sense in taking less than I can take. What I don't want is Venice relieving these uh, occupations, though, because then the Pope will want to re-raise his armies. You have there. You have ten galleys. Okay. There's a number. That is a number of galleys. You're going to sit, which is fine. 